Tom, do you take Amber to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Do you vow to love her? <laughs> I'm gonna go on for a minute. <laughs> I, Tom, take you, Amber, to be my wife. I will love and honor you, respect and cherish you all the days of my life. I, Amber, take you, Tom, to be my husband. I will love you and honor you, respect and cherish you all the days of my life. By the power vested in me by the state of Michigan, I pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time to see them seal the deal. <laughs> we got better than that. <laughs> <laughs> we can do better later. We did it. Obviously, Amber is my best friend. She is the most important person in my life. We've known each other since we were eight years old. So I'm very pleased that I am a part of this today. And Tom is the only man that is worthy of Amber. And I mean that so sincerely. So I'm just so pleased that this is happening right now and it's just a natural progression of things so if we could all raise our glasses in a toast to the bride and groom cheers, cheers. <laughs>
All right, good afternoon and welcome. As we're gonna be beginning now, um, you can see we have a professional photographer. So if you have a cell phone, please, please um, put it on mute or vibrate and put it in your pocket. We'd like the photographer to do their jobs. Um, so please don't step up with your cell phone and take a bunch of photos per request of the couple. All right, we are gathered here today to celebrate the marriage of Tom and Amber. Today is a day that they will formally and publicly make their promises to one another. First, they would like to thank all of you for being with them here today and for supporting them through everything it has taken to make this day a reality. They know that taking the time and making the journey took considerable effort for many of you, and they wanted you to all know the deep appreciation and gratitude they feel in their hearts for this. As you are the most important and have been the most influential people in their lives, all of the time and conversations that you've had with Tom and Amber, even before they met, have helped them become who they needed to be, first to find themselves, and then to find each other. All of you are those that they can call family and friend. So now, Tom and Amber, I want to share some thoughts with you. Although this is indeed a high point, marriage is a journey and not a destination. Marriage is more than any one single event or promise. It's a series of decisions that have been made and will continue to be made over and over again every day that shows each of their care and concern for the one whom they each love most in the world. In marrying each other, you promise to love, not only as you feel right now, but also as you intend to feel in the future. In marriage, we say not only I love you today, but also I promise to love you tomorrow, the next day, and always. Marriage is a promise that is renewed daily through a couple's actions and responsibility taken on in the spirit of faith, hope, and love. And that brings comfort in times of sadness and heightens our greatest joy. Tom and Amber, may the promises you make this day live always in your hearts and in your home so that all which you share now deepen and grow through the years, leading you through a lifetime of happiness. So I learned in some conversations that Amber likes to write Tom some little notes, just like words of affirmation or warm fuzzies. But Tom actually saves all of these, and he used them in his plan to propose to Amber. So notes and writing are a really special part of their relationship. And so Tom and Amber have chosen to remember today and those promises that they've made to each other by continuing this tradition and writing each other some letters. They're gonna seal these with a special bottle of whiskey, you can see over here to the, my right or my left. Um, on their first anniversary, they're gonna open these and enjoy them all together. So Tom and Amber, why don't you go ahead and place those letters with your whiskey. Ooh, scary bug, okay. Very fluff. <laughs> yes, we did train Tom on train duty. <laughs> That's your, your job. Thank you. All right, now I'm going to read a very special poem um, by Robert Frost from the book The Poetry of Robert Frost. The copy of the book that I'm actually reading from is special because it was a gift from Amber's grandmother. The poem is called The Master Speed. No speed of wind or water rushing by, but you have speed far greater. You can climb back up a stream of radiance to the sky and back through history up the stream of time. And you are given the swiftness not for haste, nor chiefly that you may go where you will, but in the rush of everything to waste that you may have the power of standing still. Off any still or moving thing you say, Two such as you with such a master speed cannot be parted nor be swept away. From one another, once you are agreed, that life is only life forevermore. Together, wing to wing and oar to oar. A 
A wedding is more than a celebration of love, which lives in our bride and groom's hearts today. And as we've already talked about, a wedding re reaches into the future and proclaims their intentions for that which tomorrow will hold. A couple who wed are joined not only by the mutual affection and love they share, but also by their hopes, dreams, and by their promises of what will be. The promises and vows they make this day shall guide them into their common future. So I will ask now if you're prepared to make these promises. Amber, have you come here today of your own free will to take time to be your husband, that you may live together as equal partners, sharing in all that life has to offer? I have. Will you love him, comfort him, honor him, and keep him all the days of your life? I will. Tom, have you come here today of your own free will to take Amber to be your wife, that you may live together as equal partners, sharing all that life has to offer? I have. And will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her all the days of your life? I will. So Tom and Amber, the commitment which you are about to make is meant to be a beautiful and sacred expression of your love for each other. As you pledge your vows and commit your lives to each other, do this with complete thoughtfulness and joy, with the deep understanding that you're committing yourselves to a growing relationship of trust, mutual support, and caring love. So John, need the ring. So your rings, by the very shape, um, are symbols of eternal unity with beginning, without beginning or end. They are the emblem of love that exists between you and characterize your devotion to one another. Let them always remind you of the commitments you make today. So Tom, do you take Amber to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Do you vow to love her? <laughs> going to go on for a minute. Do you vow to love her Neither. and care for her for as long as you both shall live? Do you accept her with all of your faults and strengths? Offer her, yourself to her with all of your own faults and strengths. Do you promise to help her when she needs help and to turn to her when you need help? Do you promise to be a faithful, loving companion and to always put the promises you make this day above all else? I do. Perfect. <laughs> all right, take the ring. Gotcha. Will you now place the ring on your beloved's finger and repeat after me? I, Tom, take you, Amber, to be my wife. I, Tom, take you, Amber, to be my wife. I will love and honor you. I will love and honor you. Respect and cherish you. Respect and cherish you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Amber, do you take Tom to be your lawfully wedded husband? Do you vow to love him and care for him for as long as you both shall live? Do you accept him with all of his faults and strengths and offer yourself to him with all of your own faults and strengths? Do you promise to help him when he needs help, to turn to him when you need help? Do you promise to be a faithful and loving companion, to always put the promises you make this day above all else? I do. So will you now place the ring on your beloved's finger and also repeat after me. I, Amber, take you, Tom, to be my husband. I, Amber, take you, Tom, to be my husband. <laughs> I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. Respect and cherish you. Respect and cherish you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Okay. <laughs> put the ring on her finger. Got it. So Tom and Amber, prior to this moment, you each walked a separate path. Now you embark together on a shared path. This is always when the officiant breaks down. Um, today you have declared before yourself that you will live together forever in marriage. The wedding rings that you will wear will symbolize your love and commitment to each other. You've made vows, you've exchanged promises, and you've shared a part of your love with your family and friends. So now, by the power vested in me by the state of Michigan, I pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time to see them seal the deal. <laughs> we got better than that. <laughs> <laughs> we can do better later. Hello, 
everyone. You may have seen me up there. I'm Alyssa, Amber's best friend. But if you're watching me, why it's not my wedding, it's hers. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I hope everyone's enjoying this beautiful lush grass as much as I am because it is the most beautiful grass I've ever seen. <laughs> so I hope you're enjoying that as much as I am. I just wanted to say a very few brief words. Uh, obviously, Amber is my best friend. She is the most important person in my life. We've known each other since we were eight years old. So I'm very pleased that I am a part of this today. And... Tom is the only man that is worthy of Amber, and I mean that so sincerely. So I'm just so pleased that this is happening right now, and it's just a natural progression of things. So if we could all raise our glasses in a toast to the bride and groom. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> She did perfect. Yes. You did perfect. You mentioned the grass. It's all we wanted. <laughs>